Hello everyone, in this short Mugera tutorial video, I will show how you can use a very useful uh, timeline feature called mask. Uh, these three icons represent uh, these mask functions. Uh, I will first introduce the basic concept of that and then I will use several uh, examples showing you how you can use mask to build very interesting and useful uh, animations. Uh, first of all, let's, let's, let's create some very simple shape. Let's see one, one circle. And then let's get another layer and uh, draw another circle. Okay, so when you have these two circles, uh, you can immediately apply our uh, mask uh, feature. Basically, what mask means is anything uh, on the mask layer uh, will be like a you know channel or a filter. So so that the uh, for the for the for the layer that has been masked, uh, only the part is overlap with mask object. We are on. We will be showing other part. We are not be showing. Uh, let's see if we define this layer one as the mask layer, and the layer zero as the mask layer. Make sure you put this mask layer one layer beneath this mask layer, so that then you can just click on the mask layer, apply this a uh, convert to mask button. You can see immediately. Uh, you know only the part that has been covered by the uh, mask layer uh, in the mask layer can be shown. This is the effect. You know the mask layer and the mask layer is the same. And, uh, the way to edit them is the same as you edit any other layer, like uh, you know the general layer, such as you, uh, objects in the layer. You can just move it around like this. Uh, you can just uh, uh, let's see change the property of it. You can even you can even add animation for the mask and the mask layer and. Uh, Without considering it is a mask or mask layer, uh, for example, you can just move this object a little bit, and you can see uh, it's very obvious. The same thing can happen for the mask layer. You can you can define some animation for mask layer too. Yeah, it's pretty simple and very straightforward. And also, uh, sometimes it's not straightforward to edit the layer has been masked. What you can do is you can just uh, uh, you know. Uh, this is toggle how you can preview the result. You c this is the final rendering result. You can also preview it in a uh, let's say uh, uh, in, in in a regular mask layer. In that case, you can see that uh, the icons on this mask and mask layer is grayed out, meaning it is defined as mask or mask layer. But you can just uh, uh, feel free to edit um, in freely. In, uh, you know, sometimes it's more convenient for you to precisely control uh, your animation. If you want to uh, toggle it back, you can just uh, you know uh, switch on this button, switch on and switch off this button. So you can you can define one mask layer under one mask layer. You can have as many mask layer as you want. Uh, for example, if you want one, if you want to one add one more layer as mask layer, yeah, that, th this is the way how you can define it, so that you can have one one other layer, which uh, let's maybe change the color, make it more visible. Yeah. So now we have defined two mask layer and one mask layer. In order to switch off this mask completely, you can just simply uh, convert this to convert this back to normal layer. So you can have three layers here. Yeah, it's pretty much how you can use this mask and mask layer. So now let's uh, go ahead to give you some uh, example how you can use this feature to to have some very interesting effect. Let's first have an effect which is uh, with text. Uh, have a text with some highlight on that, with some uh, highlight spot on that. Let's first create a. For example, you want if you want the uh, text to be r to be one color. Let's say you know, in orange color. Okay, you just have a ba orange background. Uh, this will be the text color layer, and then you have another layer which is the. Highlight part. Uh, let's see. Define another layer, and uh, you modify the property into a highlight shape. To make it more realistic, let's adjust the highlight. And change the uh, uh, alpha value. Okay, 
we have this uh, okay mm, maybe I'll change this to a little bit okay something like this and then you can define some animation for this uh, highlight layer make it moving from left to right side like this okay then you just define another layer which is a text layer add text to that Uh, the, the color of the text doesn't matter because this layer will be eventually used as a uh, as a mask layer and mask anything beneath that. So you, 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 we just use its uh, let's see uh, alpha value. So it doesn't matter what kind of color uh, you want to choose. Just choose any one which is uh, more visible. Will be will be fine. Okay. Now if you if you preview result, mm, if you preview the result, so. Pay attention. We will use this 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 text word as a, a mask layer. So uh, and uh, the highlight will be applied to the the background so that it looks like a highlighted uh, text. Let's let's let's, let's do it now. Um, okay. Let, let's first uh, review this. You can see that we can we're almost there. The only thing is the for this background layer because when we apply one layer to mask layer, it only applies automatically apply the. The, the 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 layer which is directly beneath it as a mask layer. If you want to add more layers, you have to do that uh, manually. For example, for this text layer, you just want to move it above. And uh, yeah, no, maybe and then adjust it beneath. And then yeah, we have we've done. See, to make it more visible, uh, just move the background into black. Okay. We have this uh, very cool feature about uh, uh, some text with some uh, uh, highlights on there. Let's preview, preview it. It's the same. Great. I think that uh, concludes this short uh, uh, tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.